Daniel Hernandez, who is known as 6 9 is a 27-year-old American rapper who's been in the game for a while. His music has been marked as an aggressive style of rapping, while his controversial public persona is characterized by his distinctive rainbow-colored hair and many tattoos. We've seen him get jumped multiple times, like this one video we've seen. In this video, we will be talking about how Takashi 6 9 destroyed his career in a matter of time. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about how Takashi 6 9 destroyed his whole career in only a matter of time. And guys, before starting the video, I just want to say, go cop my merch, alright? It's like 20 bucks for a shirt, 30 for a hoodie. So guys, go click my link in the description below to check it out, and let's get right to the video. 6 9 first became known for his guest performance on Trippy Red's 2017 single, Police 1469, followed by his release single, Kumo, that same year. Now let's go further back to 2015. 6 9 pleaded guilty to a felony count of use of a child in a single performance and received a 4 year probation and a 1000 hour community service order. Now fast forward to 2018. At this time, he got arrested for racketeering and other weapons and drug charges, facing a minimum of 47 years in prison. He pleaded guilty to 9 charges including conspiracy to commit murder and armed robbery in February 2019. However, in April of 2020, he was granted early release during the COVID-19 pandemic. He was put on house arrest for the remainder of his term and was released in early August of 2020. 6 9 maintained commercial success following his release from prison, his 2020 single, Gooba, and his follow-up, Trolls, with Nicki Minaj. It peaked at numbers 3 and 1 on Billboard Hot 100, and his second album, Tattletales, reached 4 on the US Billboard Top 100. Now in 2017 to 2018 days, he would make a song with Trippy Red titled Police 1469, released in April of 2017, like I already said. 6 9 rose to fame on social media due to an Instagram post that went viral on both Reddit and Twitter in July of 2017. Now I can't find the original post by the way. Fast forward to in October 2019, 6 9 signed a two album contract for over $10 million with his label 10k projects for one album in English and one album in Spanish. That's crazy. Now let's talk about his legal issues. On July 12, 2018, 6 9 was arrested in New York City for an outstanding warrant related to an incident where he choked a 16 year old. It is said that the kid was calling him names when he lashed out on him. And here's the picture of the marks on his neck. And here's a post what the kid said. I just got choked by Takashi 6 9 at the gallery in front of my parents, my mom, my brother, and my dad literally had to pull me away from him and his goons. I was recording him when he decided to choke me hard as hell. Charges were later dropped because the kid decided not to take legal action. A couple of days later on July 22nd, 2018, 6 9 was kidnapped and he was also beaten and robbed by three armed attackers in Brooklyn. He was shooting the music video for Fifi, the attackers grabbed him out of the car and I'll show you the clip. Now here's another incident. On June 2nd, 2018, rapper Chief Keef was fired upon outside the W Hotel in New York City, but he was not hit. And police confirmed that they were investigating 6 9 for this incident. In February 2019, 6 9 pled guilty to ordering the shooting of Chief Keef. He also offered his associate, Kuda B, $20,000 to shoot at Chief Keef. He would start calling out people like Lil Reese, and he also made a video where he landed in Chicago and started walking through the alleyways where his haters are. Just a bit in Chicago and all that. Y'all got a huge announcement for y'all. I'm dropping the album September 4th, Tattletales the album. I think the, I think the, the killers, the hitters are something. Soldiers. No, keep going, dude. Nigga, you know how many niggas died here? A lot of niggas died. Mad niggas. <laughs> 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 
Yo, we can get the other bottle? I got it, I got it. Yeah, get the other bottle, get another bottle. A lot of people die, right? A lot of people. Niggas die. Now make sure y'all go pre-order that album, man. Pre-order the album, man. We in Chicago, we in Chicago. Go pre-order the album, link in my bio. The link is in my bio right now. Go pre-order. There's some hitters over there, so let me get in the car. And there was also a time where he got caught liking in LA Fitness. Now my personal opinion on why he fell off is because of his backlash in public. He would constantly get sued and having all those charges pressed on him, talking crap about other rappers and getting jumped. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. And guys, don't forget to cop my merch too. And guys, I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to be buying a video camera and I will be probably buying some more lights in the background. So expect upgrades to the channel in like two weeks. And I'll see you in the next video.